it's a challenge, but it's a new era, an, an era in which Saudi Arabia says, uh, no, we're not going to accept the oil, old way of doing things. We're going to go into a, a much more transparent system, a system in which people uh, have to be very transparent about what they do and how they do it. So I think it's a new era. Ultimately, I think it will lead to economic growth as a higher efficiency kicks in across uh, the board and it's uh, more systematic, uh, systematically uh, transparent. Talk to me a little bit about the excitement surrounding this $500 billion investment in NEOM because they brought in some serious talent. At the same time, you've, you've kind of been through this before with King Abdullah Economic City. You know the growing pains that it takes. What are going to be the challenges that they'll face, at least in the short term, do you think? Well, first of all, it's super exciting uh, to see the future of um, urban development happen as we speak. I mean, you heard the Crown Prince talking about it in, in Riyadh. He's talking about the future, about you know, using autonomous cars, artificial intelligence. And so it is very exciting. I don't know how it will look. Nobody mm -hmm. knows, probably, because nobody has ever built something like this. Mm -hmm. um, but it is a very exciting um, um, uh, venture. I think the, the closeness and proximity to both Egypt and Jordan is going to have an interesting play there. It is a massive project, uh, about 1,440 times the size of cake. So Incredible. it is big. Uh, but I have been in the business for a decade now this, this month. Um, it's my 10-year anniversary of cake, so it is, it is hard. It's hard to attract people, it's hard to attract uh, them. But uh, it is Neom and uh, it is, has the kingdom's backing and of course uh, the Crown Prince, it's a, uh, it's a pretty good and deal. And times they are a-changing, aren't they, in Saudi Arabia? Of course, I mean, of it's course. so much in the last year alone. Uh, well, we, you know, we are now in the business of building cities. Neom is one, Al Ula is another, um, Al Gidiya is another, the Red Sea Project is another. They're all massive projects. I think we are talking about now moving to the service economy, like I said, post-oil. Uh, and, and so I think the economic driver of the future for the kingdom is going to be these many cities that are uh, spread, that are focused on cert certain sectors such as leisure, uh, such as uh, uh, tourism and logistics. So it's going to be a very interesting new era for Saudi Arabia.